Ugh. Ow. Um, so in this video today, I want to go over, uh, I call it a crash to clinch. So different ways to get into uh, different clinching positions from dipshits throwing strikes like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, there's two specifically that I want to go over, although you can get in plenty from from this drill. Well, hell, let's just do them all, okay? So, crash to clinch, crash to clinch, crash to clinch. Let's check it out right now. All right, dudes, so this uh, drill goes a little something like this. So, we train a lot these like, so, if you're training for the street, right? Um, it's a little bit different than if you're training for like MMA kickboxing matches, right? Because people, most people that want to fight you in the street, and I say most, some people, you know, a lot of people are training to fight, but most people don't know shit about fighting. And that there's, there's just tons of videos, right? I mean, you have people going like this, like this, right? It's just classic, classic stupid shit. Um, so I specifically train drills for what I call the stupid man punch, okay? And all that is is this huge like And really if like someone if you train long enough and and someone does this to you, really time goes like this. And you're like, "Huh." Huh. Boop, right? Just like that. <laughs> okay. So we're gonna, it's called crashing, y'all. Do it two different ways. You can come in uh, with your guard up, palm out, or you can come in in a helmet guard. Either one is fine. You just gotta make sure you you're, know what you're doing and why you're doing it. So he throws the stupid man punch. I'm gonna step in, boom. Okay, and that's the first part of this. You can go a little faster. Okay, boom. And you notice too, I don't wait, go ahead, for that. Okay, as soon as I see him start to go, I'm stepping in, I'm going. Boom. Okay, and if you look here, turn for me, I'm coming in here, and I'm coming in here. And if I can get my elbow to come right into his sternum, oh yeah, woo! Okay, so that's the first part. Go ahead, boom. Okay, good, from here now, I like to train all different kinds of clinch movements from here. So uh, one that's really good, you go right to underhook and reverse collar tie, right? That's awesome, boom. Obviously feed some knees here, boom. Give him a little love here, good fucking uppercut here, right? Boom, bite his fucking ear off, you know what I'm saying? Good, so let's just hit that one a little bit. He comes in, boom, boom, right? And then we release, shh, boom, boom, boom. Important thing here, guys, when you get this, this uh, position, go ahead, you don't, I don't, I'm not gonna try and stand right in front of him, I'm gonna hit an angle. Okay, angle, always angle. So it's a bit of like a T formation. His hips are facing, what are you doing, dude? His hips are facing this way. My hips are facing him, okay? I don't know what he's doing over here, but I'm fighting him because I'm facing him. You see what I'm saying? Break that posture. Good, let's that one more time. Let's just turn this way so they can see a little bit better. He's in. Boom. Good, also too, guys, when someone punches like this, that's awesome, okay? That's awesome. Because he's moving before he's punching. Yeah. Okay, good. Go ahead. Boom. Boom. Good. So uh, I'm not going to really get in. There's all kinds of fun takedowns you can do from here, but this is just to talk about clinch, right? Getting into clinch position from haymakers. Good. So the next one we'll do, he comes in. Boom. Good. So another one I really like to do is just go right to body lock from here, right? And when my head's in front, I'll, I'll go to hip control here, body lock, and then I'll... I'll uh, C grip this stupid hand here so it doesn't punch me in the stupid face, okay? So that's another good clinch position. Boom, there's all kinds of takedowns from here. Of course, I can feed knees, right? Takedowns, that's good stuff. Again. <sighs> Gotta get my head in here nice, y'all. I don't wanna have my head away like this because there's head butts, he can create space. So I gotta get my head in here tight. Sorry, man, take that. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Good. Okay, one more time. Good. 
good. Oh no, he's got a hip rock. Oh no, that's all right, I don't care. Okay, good. Um, another one we can do from here, he comes in. So I go to like, a, from reverse collar side here, but you can go to shoulder control, boom. Break them down this way. Boom, boom, right? There's easy takedowns from here. Um, essentially, you can go to a lot of different stuff from here. He comes in, boom, I can hit my arm drag here to my two on one. All right, let's do that one. So all I'm doing here, guys, turn for me, is I'm, I'm just essentially dropping this hand down. Boom, I'm doing my classic uh, two on one drill. Boom, right? Boom. That's a good one. Go ahead. Boom. Boom. Good. Good. What other one we can do? Um, oh, so. Oh, yeah, let's do this. Comes in. Boom. I'm going to come head and arm. Think about pressure headlock. Oh, Woo That's a good one. Comes in. Boom. Let's turn so they can see. So now I'm shooting this under, and that's, you know, different way, people do it different ways. Some people just like to grab the head and pull in. I like to get a grip here. I just feel like I can drive my, like, knuckles into his cheek here a little bit better, okay? And then my head is under, and I'm driving in. Oh, yeah, I'm just giving him a really bad day here. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. <sighs> <sighs> Yeah, not good. Not good from him. How many is that so far? Five? Four or five? Four did or five? Do, did Am do, I missing one? I, um, feed me. Did you okay. do this one? Oh, feed I me like neither. This one. That's a good one. Sure. And then from here, you can go into this takedown, yeah. which sure. you know I love. Yeah, cool. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. Uh, I did that, didn't I? I think, I think that might be an over. I did the over, you did the under. Yeah, okay, do it again. Nice, not bad. It's just for fun. Sure. Do me a favor and when you're underhook, get the shoulder and rank your elbow down to your hip. Okay, can I do it again? Yep. Ah, yeah, good. Nice, not bad, cool. Good, okay guys, so it's just simple ways to get into clinch position, um, specifically from what we call the stupid man punch. Now we can work these positions, of course, from, from a lot of different spots. We use these positions all the time when we're sparring, right? Um, but of course, when we're drilling, uh, of course, taking new people through positions, you can't just throw them in the deep end. Some people I do, just so I can get a good laugh, but you can't really do that, right? You gotta break it down, make it a little bit more simple. Once you start to get competence, then you start throwing them to the sharks, right? You got anything to add to that? No, I think no? you said it. Cool. So, crash to clinch, okay? Let me know what you think about it.